Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a DIY slash sticker storage idea. If you watched, um, I think it was my very first sticker storage video, you guys know that I stored my sticker scraps in a file folder. But just recently, I figured out a way that would be more functional for me. What I did was I took one of my mini binders that I had and then took all my sticker scraps, cut them down to size, and I took some paper and hole punched it. And this is what it looks like. So I sort of featured this in one of my Plan With Me's. I think it was the Scribble Prints Co. October Mystery Kit Plan With Me that went live on Sunday. And I showed this in the video because I needed some things. But this has been way more functional for me. Like, let's say I needed a sidebar weekly thing. I can just go to that section. It's definitely been a lot more functional than the file folder. So I'm just going to show you guys how I made this. It's really simple, really easy. All you need is a mini binder. You'll need a hole puncher. You could use some adhesive or washi tape or regular scotch tape. Some scissors, paper. So I just had um, construction paper lying around in my house. So I just half them and then all you do is cut them down so I'll show you how I do that and of course the most important thing that you would need are sticker scraps so I have a bunch of sticker scraps here that I cut down and that's what we have here so I'll take this black one here and you basically cut it in half It doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, it's just a scrap binder. But if you want it to be straight, definitely go ahead and do that. I'm going to grab one of these for a hole punch reference. And I basically, before I even had one of these, I took one of those mini sheet protectors and held it up to the paper. And it fit perfectly and I just hole punched it. So... We have this, and we're going to go ahead and hole punch it. I love this way more than the scrap um, file folder because, like I said, it is so much more functional, and I feel like I get more use out of the extra stickers that I have. Great. So there is that. Go ahead and put that back inside. So there we have it. We have the binder sheets. So let's see what scraps I have. I have a half box. I have some headers here, checklists, appointment boxes. So we'll start off with these four first because I do like to organize them by category. So it looks like we don't have any more room for this heart checklist here so I'm just going to grab one of these and before I put that inside all I'm going to do is take my adhesive stick it on there and there we have it, a sticker sheet. And it's that easy. So next I have a half box. I'm just going to flip through the half boxes. Oh, okay, well first I'm going to do the header since we're already here. So I love this so much. It's really easy and simple. So there's the headers. We have the washi icons are here. 
more functional deco, just a lot of things. Okay, we have arrived to the boxes. So, again, simple, easy. I'm going to put these down in here as well. There we go. So I'm going to do a little bit more of these and speed this up and I'll be right back. guys you see me put these down you see me whole punch everything it's very simple and I like I said it's very easy and I hope this helps you um, figure out how to store your scraps so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one bye